Today on the show, we'll be talking about the different kinds of people you will find in a nightclub, who to shoot and who not to shoot. That's what we're going to be discussing today. Welcome to the show, I'm your host Ben Trombacco and this is episode 4. Today on the show I wanted to cover um, the different types of people you find in a nightclub. Um, if you're new to the nightclub environment and working uh, in such a, a place, it's important to understand a little bit who everyone is, uh, whether it's safe to take their photos or not, uh, and also the general public as well, what kind of people that you could avoid and, and, and others that you're happy to go and, and shoot. Um, over and over again. Um, you'll find some people very receptive to photos and others not so much or not at all. Um, so, you know, it's important to, to deal with people in, in, a, in a respectful way and make sure that everyone's covered uh, that, that is needed to. Um, two episodes ago, we spoke about the kind of photographer called a who is someone who literally goes around and documents every single person regardless of, um, of, of, of their status or if they're interested or not or, or whatever or their role. Um, that's not really the kind of photography I like to do but it does get a very high quantity of photos even if the people, the, your subjects in your photos won't be as receptive um, as they would otherwise be. For me this um, profession is all about quality uh, rather than quantity so you know I think it's important to make sure that you treat people according to how they want to be treated uh, and make sure that that's properly covered. We'll talk about the public and how to photograph them in a second. First, what I, what I want to touch upon is um, the people who work there. Uh, and in particular, the first people we're going to talk about is door staff. The so door staff are a particular um, uh, type of person that work in a nightclub and we have to uh, photograph them in, in a particular way. Uh, in the years that I've been doing this, you know, I can count on two hands the amount of photos I'm taking of door staff. Because the, in reality, you're taking very, very, very few. As a rule, we're not taking photos of them at all. Once you actually get speaking to them and you actually understand the reasons why they're not keen on, on, on being photographed, you actually understand a little bit about why we should avoid them. Essentially, they're primarily agency workers, so they do not, don't want to be tied to a specific club. And they do have like a, a paranoid uh, idea that you know, if, if they're part of a, a certain club, uh, that's not going to be good for them. Also, you know, logically, they're there to do their, their job. They're not there to have a good time. So it's not going to be a great picture anyway. So why would you want that kind of image anyway? So generally, avoid them. Um, on the odd, odd occasion, you'll get some punter put their arm around them. Um, and they say, oh, I'll take my photo with you, mate. In that very specific case, make eye contact with the, uh, with the doorman, uh, doorwoman, whatever, um, and then gauge between them if it's okay to take the photo. If it's not okay, 90% of the time it won't be okay, they'll give you a, a little shake of the head, don't just move on, have a laugh about it, and then you know, we're not taking that photo. Um, also, a lot of this happens in editing afterwards. Uh, if I accidentally get someone's uh, a doorman's face in it, I will tend to either crop it out or even uh, underexpose that part of the image in order to, to remove their face because you have to be respectful uh, of them. Uh, they're doing their job and, and they're not there to be photographed. Um, so yeah, that's all I want to talk about the doorman for now. If you've got any other comments, uh, let me know. Um, but yeah, very, very rarely do I photograph them. and. Uh, Certainly, it's not, not something you need to concern yourself with. Now, the next category I want to talk about is DJs. So DJs are very, very different from door staff. So we are totally allowed to take their photographs. In fact, they love having their photographs taken for the most part. Um, we are going to have um, more episodes on the specifics and the technicalities of how to photograph uh, DJs in a specific way. Um, I love taking photographs of, of, of DJs. You know, the whole booth is lit up like a Christmas tree anyway. Um, you know, some DJs are very energetic as well, so it's, it's lovely to, to be able to capture that. Also, you know, it's quite unusual for a club because you actually have a little bit of space to move around if you're lucky. Um, and you're going to have, you know, different possibilities. You haven't got the, the crowd all, all amongst you. There's lots of different freedoms that you're allowed to do when, you, when you're doing DJs. That said, um, you know, don't be a paparazzi and be uh, uh, blasting their face with, with flash, that's not great either. They are working also and they need to be able to see their instruments, they need to be able to see what's going on, so don't so be a bit careful about that. 
Um, I just wanted to cover um, the importance of doing DJs properly is, is a massive importance because you know, many, many DJs are also promoters and promoters are obviously VIPs for us because they're the guys who essentially book uh, photographers as well. So if you can get in with them, make sure um, you know, they know who you are. You know, if you've got business cards, you can hand those out as well. Um, just make sure you, you get on well with them and make sure uh, you know, you're respectful. If they want uh, certain photographs taken or certain photographs uh, deleted, um, you're respectful of that. The next category I'd like to talk about is bar staff. Now bar staff really does depend on the management and the kind of club you're working at. Some will choose to have a staff who are very jovial and very you know, up for having their photograph taken uh, and others, you know, they're there to work, they're not particularly happy people in, 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 in their working space. So those guys you really got to avoid and, and, and try and be respectful of, of the fact that they're working and you shouldn't be taking too many photos of them. Um, generally, my experience is, is, has been positive with the bar staff in terms of just, you know, if you can find happy people, then it does make for really nice shots, actually, because also they're, in, they're working in a bar, so they're in a very lit area. There's all sorts of colourful bottles and colourful lights everywhere, so it is a nice area to shoot. Um, also, if you can get interactions between them and the public, that's also nice. Um, you do come across management of uh, clubs who don't like to see their staff interacting too much with their customers um, just because it's a professional environment and they want to portray um, that professionalism uh, every time. So just be a little bit respectful, be, be tactful when you're taking your shots. Don't, don't, don't show them uh, looking in any way unprofessional. Uh, but for me, I, I do like to have uh, occasional uh, shots of bar staff doing their thing. Also, if they're, if they're serving drinks or whatever with a smile on their face, then I, th I think that's a nice shot and I, I don't think there's anything wrong with, with taking that. Um, my experience has been such that if you can work in a nightclub that's in a university town that has a high university population, then what you'll find is you'll get students working uh, at the local bars and clubs and they tend to be you know, the happiest to be there because it's kind of an established route uh, that they're going through. It's not exactly their career they're doing or anything. Uh, if you went into uh, a city, I think you've got more chance of getting someone who's down on their luck and ended up working uh, behind a bar somewhere, so perhaps they're not going to be as, 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 as happy chaps as, 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 uh, as some of the crowds are. That is a massive generalisation, you know, of, of course it's not all the case everywhere, but just you know, play it by ear, um, see uh, who's receptive and who isn't. Um, I have had some bad experiences with uh, staff who don't want to get their photo taken, but it's really not a big deal to say, apologise, delete and move on. And speaking of moving on, I think we'll move on to the next uh, subject. And the next category I want to touch upon is VIPs um, and how to shoot those probably. Uh, when I'm talking about VIPs, I'm not necessarily talking about celebrities and, and guests that you'll have um, uh, in a club. Uh, those we will touch on in, in a later episode. I think that's kind of worth um, doing that more fully. What I'm talking about VIPs is generally people who can, um, who, who are organisers of the event, general promoters, a little bit, we touched upon it with DJs, but promoters really are a separate entity in themselves. Um, it is very important that you get nice shots of these people with their friends. I mean, they're, they're the ones who have essentially organised the night. Um, so, you know, try and, and, and speak with them if you can um, and, and see what they're looking for the night. Promoters might have, you know, a placard that they want uh, used. And that's unfortunate, but uh, some, some, of them, some clubs still insist on that. So, you know, be respectful of that and, and, and take that off them if, if they need to. It's important that you photograph these correctly. When, when you come to photograph a shot that you know is going to be uh, important, um, you know, take a deep breath, uh, step back, think about the shot, think about the composition, think about how you're shooting uh, this. You know, there is a checklist that you go through and, you know, when you're shooting hundreds and hundreds of shots in, in the evening, there's sometimes you're not really thinking too much about um, different things. It should be automatic. after. After doing this for, for, for a long time, a lot of these things come automatically. But when you do have a moment that you know, yeah, this is going to be important, just take a, take a second, take a deep breath, have a look at your camera, and make sure you're taking two or three shots of the same thing, just so when I say the same thing, I'm saying shoot, shoot once, check, shoot again, check again, just so you, you've got the best possible shot to give to the person. You don't need to be giving them three shots in the end, but as long as one or two of them is, is, is superb and then um, the other one we can, we can throw away. Um, that's a general uh, thing for VIPs, I would say. Um, one of the VIPs that I would like to mention is also the sort of 
uh, are affiliated with the DJs. I've never, I've never come across a DJ with an ugly girlfriend, for example. So if you photograph those correctly, uh, I know it sounds perverse, but um, it's true. If you photograph them, them well, the DJ will, will know that, and then the DJ, when I say DJ, I mean DJ slash promoter, that's going to be good for, for your career going forward. So make sure uh, they've got nice shots. Um, that sector does tend to be, you know, if, if, if they're people who don't want to have their photo taken, then obviously be respectful of that. But it's the only category of person that I would ever actually insist, or not insist on, but it's the only category of person I'd ever, say I'd ever want to take a photo of. A lot of what we do is really about mentality. Um, so that's kind of what we should talk about now. And the mentality of how you approach someone is kind of important in a club. And if you are supplicative and if you are, you know, begging for a shot, then your chances are you're going to get a no. And, and in those instances, if you get a no, then you have to move on and you're kind of screwed. And if you were to take a shot then, after receiving a no, then not only is that pretty disrespectful, but the shot's also going to be rubbish. And that's the most important thing. So it's much better when they're receptive, you're receptive, everything's positive. That's when you can, can take great shots. When you're taking, when you want to take a shot of a VIP, whoever that may be, you know, go approach it with confidence, approach it knowing that you're going to take a fantastic shot of them. Um, if you have that confidence, then it's going to be much, much easier to get a yes and a much, much easier to get that shot eventually. Okay, as I said in the, in the previous episode, I want to get these shows nice and compact so there's content in there, but they don't drag on too long. So with that in mind, we're going to cut uh, this episode here today. I know there are other um, elements of people um, who we haven't covered. So if, if, if there's any category of person in the club who you'd like to know about, um, some different types of people, let us know and we'll get those answered to you and we'll get another video sorted uh, quickly. In the meantime, keep using the hashtag TNPS for all your nightclub photos, not all of them, but just give me a nice uh, selection. And yeah, until next time, please subscribe and uh, keep shooting. Welcome to the show. Oh. Today on the show, we're talking about uh, idiot. This is this is how we started with the first one. Okay. <laughs>